thought last game? Um, it was much better than it was last game. We played a smarter game. We didn't give up outnumbered rushes. We were uh, better structurally. Um, so there was a lot of improvements as far as that goes. But I, I don't like looking at it that way because we were so bad in that last one that that's not the norm. That's not not where we should be. So uh, we're back to uh, to playing decent hockey tonight. You know, unfortunately, we didn't come away with the win, but we did some good things. A couple. Uh, Shots we'd probably like to have back, and a couple of chances around the net we'd like to have back at the other end. The goals, goals they, they scored right after you did. It was similar to Columbus. Where you yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You know, we actually uh, we scored. <coughs> pardon me, we scored and then uh, won the draw. Got in on the four check, played in their end a little bit, and it came out. And we we're a little bit sla- soft on uh, on gap and coverage there. And then um, you know, LB's taking his first kick through the league and you've got Ovechkin, Neal, Sagan, Couture, guys that, that can really release the puck and uh, he's got to figure that out. And they'll shoot from anywhere and they'll shoot it awfully quick and um, he'll get better. What was the reaction like on the, on the bench time when they got those two quick replies? Uh, better than it has been actually. We guys said the things they needed to say. I thought we went back out and reestablished our game. Um, it, Chicago Blackhawks, LA Kings, five, six Stanley Cups, whatever they have. They have ebbs and flows within their games too. And uh, we're not going to be perfect. We're going to have those bumps. And uh, so we're, uh, we're trying to grow as a team and grow up as a team. Excuse me. They usually come in pairs, don't they? So we're trying to grow up as a team. And, and that's, um, I thought tonight we had a much better and more appropriate response to uh, the quick goals than we did in Columbus or... Uh, even San Jose a minute into the game where we let one in. So I think part of that's trying to play for LB as well. Todd, you're not a fan of discussing individual players, generally speaking, but did you feel like Pacarinen responded well to his elevation of the lineup and Yakupov seemed to play his way into some elevated minutes toward the end of the game as well? Yeah, um, I thought Pac had a good night. I expected that from him, and he's, he's excited about getting the chance there. I thought he played a simple, hard game, complimented the other two. And uh, Yak, as the game went on, we're looking for more offense and, um, you know, giving him the chance to, to play with different guys. And he gets to play with Nuge right now, and that's, I'd take that if I was uh, a player. Um, he's a hell of a, a centerman, so hopefully they get a little chemistry going here and he gets a chance to score. Is that when Connor McDavid is lining up against Yossi and Weber, is that just a testament to how good he is? Yeah, you know, they are, um, that's a tremendous pair when you think about it. When you take Weber and Yossi and you can come back with Ekholm and Ellis and, uh, you know, that's four that they can play almost the whole night and they do. So Connor lines up against them and he comes off tired and Leon goes and looks up and they're six and, and uh, 59 again. Um, they're that good. They have that ability to play that many minutes and um, they have experience and um, you know, for us to get to where we want to go, we have to find a couple of players like that or develop them. And uh, over time, they'll have the ability to play 28, 29 minutes a night and there'll be some young kid playing on another team looking up and going, oh, I have to play against those Edmonton guys, but we're not there right now.